Hello, I'm John Kraft. This is Kirk, Kirk Allen. We're the Edgar County Watchdogs. Um, topic of this video is the Austin Pritchard and the di as a dive team commander and his running for uh, office of county board uh, member. Um, he doesn't have an an opponent running against him as Shelby County board member in his district. So he needs one vote to become elected as a Shelby County board member. Should that happen, I believe, didn't you mention something during public comment the last county board meeting? What was it? Yeah, it was basically uh, letting the board know if they haven't already, they need to think about finding a replacement for the, for Austin to be commander. You know, someone else is going to have to do that because it's a conflict to be both a, a county board member and a department head, which he is a department head of the, of the dive team. Um, and I, it was funny because on the way out after the meeting, I get chastised saying, why do you hate the dive team? I don't hate the dive team. This is nothing more than a procedural issue that has to be addressed. It's a conflict. That's all. They just have to find someone else to do it. Or, I mean, he could resign from the county board and stay stay as dive commander. But if he's going to be on the county board, he can't do both. And so, case, Sounds like what we write about school district. Everybody say, why do you hate children? Right, right. This has no. nothing to do with the people... The, the, there's no implication they're doing something wrong, but if they take those two offices, they're incompatible. It's something that has to be addressed, that's all. And why is it incompatible? Because as the dive team commander and as a county board member, he can vote on the budget of the dive team, he can vote on the policies of the dive team, and he can vote on personnel policies of the dive team, um, and, and basically anything else, including compensation, should they want to compensate the dive team. Uh, right. That That's what that's what the issue is. He can't, he can't be a board member and vote on his own position. And isn't it the, the Tinley Park case? Isn't that the, yeah. if I remember right, that's the case law on it. It's so rock solid. I, I really wish people would go and read that. They would understand what we're talking about. Um, what about, can't he just abstain? No. Abstention is not an option. That's not how the law works. And, and the law outlines when you can abstain. You know, they're required to vote on matters. That's why they got elected. If, if they're abstaining, they're acknowledging there's a conflict. Is there a, any situation where a county board member can abstain? I think we went through this years ago. I, right. I think uh, the fact that they abstain, they recognize there's a conflict. And the only option is the board never vote on it or the guy resigned from office. Right. Because the courts have said if they may be called to vote, well, may be called to vote is the key language. And, you know, it's, it's nothing personal. It's just a matter of, hey, good governance takes time to learn how to do it right. And other local governments have the option built in the statute to abstain. Like, I think it was a, a park district. A park district, I believe a park district board member can abstain, but they have to state why they're abstaining when they do it. Yeah, there's key limitations, just like in the Officers Prohibited Activities Act, you know, like bank owners, if you own more than 7.5% of the bank, it lists a whole laundry list of things you have to comply with if you're going to abstain. That's not the case here. It's a conflict. It's not a major deal. They just need to think about finding a new commander or, or find someone to replace him when he resigns from the county board because you can't do both. All right. That's it. Thanks.